right, today is Monday, January 13th, 2014, and uh, I was interviewed a couple days ago by the uh, Wade Malcolm, uh, writer at the News Journal and Delaware Online, and the article came out today, and it was about Bitcoin! <laughs> and, um... It was, I think it was a fairly written article. Uh, I did spend all, about 45 minutes with him on the phone and I pretty much covered uh, about everything that I could. Everything from uh, fractional reserve banking, uh, you know, is equal to counterfeiting to, uh, you know, the banks having a monopoly on the creation of the currency and that there's always interest attached to it, but never any currency created in order to pay interest, and blah, 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 on and on, and, and ex exclaiming, ex explaining from a fundamental, a couple of fundamental points, uh, the differences between Bitcoin and the dollar, primarily that uh, Bitcoin is limited and decentralized, and the dollars are gonna be turned into trash trash here soon because they've created so many of them and then also that the government can you know shut off your accounts or seize your accounts at any time um, I also uh, got a plug in there talking about um, you know he, he, you read the article he, he mentions a couple of those points uh, very briefly uh, but overall I think it was it was fair and uh, you know, I'm glad I can be on record um, saying that the dollar is going to have a serious problem uh, in the very near future. Uh, and he also put in there or mentioned that I ran for attorney general in 2010 against Bo. And uh, and hopefully people read this uh, and, and say to themselves, hey, this guy is right. There are some fundamental problems with the dollar and uh you know it also mentioned me using my bitcoin to buy silver so that offers up two uh alternatives to people in the general public uh you know what are some options that i can what are some options that i have in uh different currencies different money uh, forms of money, you know, different forms of currency, however, however you want to use that word, uh, you know, that they can use and, and try to hedge themselves against some of this risk that the uh, that the dollar is have, has and, and, and that it's growing. So uh, I invite you to check out the, uh, the article. It is on the front page of uh, the business section of Delaware Online today, uh, January 13th, Monday, 2014. And uh, hopefully I get a call from a couple radio shows too, because that would be fun. That's where you really get to, uh, you know, talking to people, reading. You know, I spent 45 minutes with, with the guy, and I've got maybe three or four or five quotes in there. Um, uh, you know, the, the more that this stuff comes out, and, and I'm using any chance that, that it comes along... Uh, you know, anybody asks me about Bitcoin, I first go through an examination of the dollar and what the dollar is and, and the fundamental flaws with the dollar. Uh, so that's where I always start the conversation about Bitcoin out at. And then we progress through, here's the flaws in the dollar. This is how Bitcoin is different and, and, and how it's superior to the dollar because it's limited, decentralized network. Um, and transactions are peer-to-peer -peer with, you know, virtually no, no fees. So, uh, very, very tiny. Um, so, check it out. All right, that's it.